I hate that poem. Daffodils I love, but I hate that poem. And I can't even look at a daffodil without those stupid lines burrowing into my head like maggots in a rotten apple. Of all Wordsworth's poems, why was that the one the teachers made us memorize? Why didn't they ask us to learn the sonnet composed upon Westminster Bridge? Not a word out of place, and shorter. Why not the ode, lines composed above Tinder Abbey? Yes, I know it's long, but I would far rather have learned twice as many lines of Tintered Abbey than the 24 lines of gibberish that comprise I wandered lonely as a cloud. When were clouds ever lonely in the English Lake District? It rains incessantly. How else would they keep all those lakes filled up? I wish he'd never seen his crowd of golden daffodils. It's not the thought of the poem, the thing he's trying to get across. The thought is superb, like most of his thoughts as a young poet before he became a Tory. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon my inward eye that is the bliss of solitude. Yes, that remembrance, that memory flashing in upon you like a daydream when you are thinking of nothing. That's superb. But then he ruins even that with his heart filling with pleasure and dancing with his stupid daffodils. It's just sop, soppy, 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 sop. Like something a 12 year old schoolboy would come up with about his first crush. Except this isn't even a girl, it's just a crowd of daffodils. I just must make an effort when I next cut some for a vase to stop thinking of them as daffodils, but as amaryllis or jonquils or narcissus, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. Really? I think I prefer the nursery rhyme. Daffy Down Dilly has come to town with a yellow petticoat and a pretty green gown. At least there's no pretension about it. <laughs>